Test your knowledge. Join Traders Academy today. This lesson will deal with configuring the Mosaic workspace to show key bond data. And you will also learn how to find out more details about bonds displayed on the monitor page. To get underway, we will look at locating some important market data useful to bond market participants. Even if you are not a fixed income trader, you may be keen to know yields along the US government bond curve. From your monitor window, use the predefined watch lists to display the mark yield across the curve. Click on the plus sign to the right of your open tabs and select predefined watch lists. Here you can view price and yield data for US treasuries and corporate bonds. For a snapshot of the curve, look at the on the run watch list. Here you will see prices for three and six month bill maturities, two, five and 10 year notes and the 30 year bond. The watch list displays change in price and percentage and also the corresponding mark yield. For a more complete yield curve, choose the All Except Strips selection from the predefined watch list page. Use the scroll bar to move down the list of maturities. Finally, selecting the US corporate bond watch list will show you last traded price and change on the day for most actively traded US corporate bonds. You'll probably have noticed the small red circular badge next to several listed bonds. If I hover my cursor over any of these, the following message indicates that trading in some bonds displayed is restricted to institutions only. Let's configure the Mosaic workspace to accommodate some of the things that a bond trader might wish to see. I'm going to unlock the Mosaic workspace by clicking the padlock to the upper right of the screen. You will see a green box appear around the workspace informing me that I can move any of the individual tiles around. I'm going to widen my monitor panel and then show you several useful columns to add to this tile. There are two ways to add more columns. First, if I simply hover above any columns header, you will see a pop up. I will click on insert column. As I do this, a floating menu provides a host of choices organized by category. If I follow the arrow through the grouping for financial description, it will reveal available choices. From here, I will add company name. As that column header is added to the layout, the floating menu disappears. So let's access it again. This time, if I right click a column header, I immediately create the floating menu and I can again select insert column. Now look further down the menu to locate the category named bonds. Inside this menu are many fields specific to fixed income. I must select one column at a time and then return to insert column. I will add QSIP, which is a bond identifier, coupon, payment frequency, and ratings. From the same category, because it is specific to bonds, I will choose bid yield and ask yield. But if I want to add the live quote, the market bid and ask prices, that is available from the prices category. I will stop adding columns at this point and hopefully you now know how to add data important to your trading and you can also see why I widened this monitor panel. Finally, if you added a column but want to move it left or right, just hold the cursor above that column and hold the left mouse button down and reposition. Then let go of the mouse button. With the monitor now configured to enable us to better view bond market data, I want to show you how to locate the description of a bond. In the next lesson, you will learn how to locate and add bonds to your display. But for now, I'll demonstrate using one of the items I have already loaded. To find out more about a specific instrument, click right on the ticker symbol and locate the expansion arrow for financial instrument info in the floating menu. You may choose to display either a pop-up within TWS by selecting the description, or you can choose a web display by selecting details. In either case, you should be able to learn as much as you need to about the underlying bond, including last trading date, payment frequency, call option provisions, and class of debt, raw or net pricing. Here's a brief word on the price display in our platform and how you might want to configure the quotes you receive. TWS connects Interactive Brokers clients to multiple electronic bond venues. 
That means that the best offer from one venue and the best bid from a rival venue may be available to users. Different exchanges have different rules and fee structures. Because different fees apply to different venues, we allow clients to view bond quotes and therefore yield displays to include or exclude those exchange fees. Raw prices do not take exchange fees into account and are therefore narrower. Net pricing, on the other hand, does include the impact of fees on the effective price of the bond and yield your bond will execute at. In order to configure TWS to either use the file drop-down menu to access global configuration and click the expand sign next to the display menu and click on ticker row. Then to the right, you should see the choice between net and raw as your default display under the section fixed income pricing. Hover above the blue symbol to read the pop-up explanation for either. Finally, notice in the line above that you can choose the display setting between actual dollars or thousands of dollars using the letter K for thousands. You should have a good idea about how to configure your monitor panel, enabling you to add relevant bond data to your display. You should be able to access descriptive information about a bond displayed on your workspace, and you should also know how to configure your price display to account for any additional exchange fees.